Hello guys, such a special time to be back on <coughs> this tutorial series today and today we'll be talking about the rotator cuff. I'll take you through what the rotator cuff is. I'll also take you through the muscles that form the rotator cuff. I'll also take you through the injury of the rotator cuff, that's the rotator cuff tear. Okay guys, so without wasting time, if you are watching this video, just make sure you like and comment on this video. Also subscribe to our channel, we are the MBBS Niger and we are a medical channel that is inclined in making medical students find their studies easily okay so let's move on as we move on taking you through the muscles that form the rotator cuff all right so let's go the rotator cuff is a group of muscles and tendons that surround the shoulder joint so this is us still talking about the shoulder joint and its stability we we noted that uh, the shoulder joint typically, typically without the muscles and the tendons that, 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 that are around it, it is very, very unstable. Why? Because the glenoid fossa is not a deep fossa. Okay? So, the head of the humerus is not really inside to be stable. So, this shoulder joint needs extra ligaments and muscles to surround it in order to make it stable. So, moving forward, we know that these muscles and ligaments are collectively called the rotator cuff. That's why instead of joining such an important topic to 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 that um to to that single video of course i made a video on the shoulder joint i decided to split it so that everything is standing out for you guys to comprehend okay keeping uh, these muscles they keep the head of the upper limb bone firmly within the shallow socket of the shoulder a rotator cuff injury can cause a dull ache in the shoulder that worsens at night Rotator cuff injuries are common and increase with age. You know, with age, older people, their bone is not that dense, so they have an osteoporous bone. So any strenuous activities can actually cause a rotator cuff. That's a tear in the muscles. All right, so this is taking you through the muscles that form the rotator cuff. As for me, I generated a... Uh, a memory aid for this and i call it seats that's s-i-t-s you know you find the supraspinatus the infraspinatus the teres minor and the suprascapularis they form they are the four muscles that form the rotator cuff okay guys moving forward um we will get to see another picture of the rotator curve this picture too is depicting the, the the muscles that form the rotator curve and this picture it looks more nice it looks more clean to me all right you see the subscapularis muscle the supraspinatus muscle the acro the, the acro the acromioclavicular joint you see the infraspinatus tendon okay so all these muscles they end in a tendon okay so don't get me wrong when i say the rotator cuff is the muscles and the tendon all these muscles end in tendons all right so let's move move to the main main job of the day guys uh are you guys enjoying this class because i'm enjoying myself when i leave when i read anatomy it is so like i enjoy myself so much so the rotator cuff injuries these injuries may occur earlier in people who have jobs that require repeatedly performing overhead motions like painters you're taking a paintbrush above your head to color the up of a building you're really stressing your shoulder joint let's make sure you eat good food and your your bones are not rigid okay so moving forward again Physical therapy exercise can improve flexibility and strength of muscles. 
so just know that if you are a person that does overhead jobs a lot bro find time to exercise okay always exercise your work is not really exercise though that's work you know just find time out of your leisure time jog around do some yoga on the floor you feel me just feel yourself okay for many people with rotator curve problems these exercises are all that is needed to manage that symptom so rotator cuff injuries or tendinitis or rotator cuff tear is not really a chronic medical it's not really a chronic medical condition okay it's not really a chronic medical condition this is like it could be managed on the average okay so sometimes Rotator cuff tears may occur from a single injury. In these circumstances, people should seek medical advice quickly because they might need a surgery. Okay, this is just to tell you that okay, from um, the the mild rotator cuff tears, you could have a severe med- a rotator cuff tear, and this um, this requires you to use to 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 go for a surgery okay guys okay guys so let's move ahead let's move ahead so the rotator cuff tear so you could see you could see these two pictures they depict a rotator cuff tear you see a full tear you could see a partial tear okay so those two pictures I know you guys still want to take a look. Take a look, bro. Take a look, take a look. Take a look, take a look. Let's move. Another picture for you. So this is just trying to say, okay, the muscles around the rotator cuff, they tear off, right? They tear off around the shoulder joint because the shoulder joint is always on motion, right? So they are at risk to tear off. I think another okay this picture is just showing the humerus tendon the bose various bose of the rotator cuff um, and stuff impringement syndrome that's like almost a tear right you could see it right there so what are the symptoms of the rotator cuff the symptoms the pain associated with a rotator cuff injury may be described as a dull ache deep in the shoulder and may disturb sleep. Man, you won't be able to sleep, right? You won't be able to sleep because when you sleep, your shoulders actually relax, so you won't be able to sleep. It can be accompanied by arm um, weakness. Some rotator cuff injuries don't cause pain however these are the mild ones okay All right but as soon as you notice slight pain try to seek medical advice so what is the treatment of a rotator cuff you could see your doctor and you could also go for an exercise do some exercise for yourself yeah trying to make yourself flexible and all that all right so so guys with these i've come to the end of the tutorial on rotator cuff we got to see the muscles that make up the rotator cuff we got to see the injuries to these muscles and on the muscles that make up the rotator cuff i actually told you guys that i have a memory aid for these muscles that's a seat that's the s-i-t-s memory aid Uh, the first s stands for supraspinatus the second i stands for infraspinatus The, the 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 t stands for teres minor and the second and on the the last s stands for subscapularis okay so the injury to this muscles can be called rotator cuff tendinitis rotator cuff tear and rotator cuff injury so guys with this i've come to the end of this video if you are watching a vi- this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel hey i would like to be your friend subscribe to my channel if you are watching this video and it's not on youtube go to youtube and type 
mbbs niger it is spelled m b b s n a i j a you you locate me then subscribe to my channel i would like to be your friend okay if you want to hit me up there's my whatsapp number on the on, on the channel description you hit me up on whatsapp i'm so friendly i'm a medical student like you okay so I, I, i'm not a lecturer i'm a medical student like you i actually get to teach people what i read all right so we'll get to progress as i read more okay because i'm just a little medical student i'm just i was trying to share my knowledge okay so catch you guys on the next tutorial and bye for now guys